Yeah, they just been up the Cape. The car's got the big badge of honour, looking pretty dirty. In this video, I'll show you how to clean your car and with what products. Let's go. Good morning. We all know how to wash a car, but I thought I'd just go through your basics and just show you a slight twist. You may not, dis you may not approve of it, and if you don't, please leave a comment. It's not how to wash a car, I'm just washing the car, just your real basics. Let's do that. I just noticed, I don't know whether it's me, but when I'm washing the car, <laughs> I frown. Where are you going? Anybody else do that? My favourite washing for washing the car. Two good dollops. Okay, you're about to learn the twist. There will be some purists out there who think are you absolutely out of your mind doing that with the car? You'll put massive scratches on it. Car rental places, they employ the uh, people that do the washing, the detailing. This is exactly what they do. Also a good idea, there's a little splash pan under it if you've got a, a uh, bull bar like mine. Make certain you keep the, um, the uh, broom nice and wet. If someone's having a shower in the uh, bathroom and because of it, the uh, hose is shuddering and I've hardly got any pressure, but I'll keep rinsing regardless. When they finish the shower, I'll get my water back. Don't leave, when you're washing the car, don't leave that uh, soap on there for too long. Doesn't matter how good the soap is, it's probably gonna dry all caked and yucky. Here's a random tip for you. With the rubbers on your uh, windscreen wiper, Quite often they get a little bit of dirt or a little bit of a twig from a, a leaf or something caught in the rubber. So you can either use an old rag or just use your hand like so and just rub it along the actual edge. Otherwise what happens is it's all nice and washed, all looking sparkling, but you've forgotten to uh, do this, then you put the the wipers on, put the wipers and I'll put a big line across the your windscreen and it's hard to get rid of. Okay now we'll do the wheels and I've got actually a whole video on the wheels if you look down here or up there or wherever they are there is a thing all about cleaning your wheels and my wheels have got uh, lettering on them and since I went on the Cape, Cape York they got red coloured from the red dirt. You'll see on the back one it's white as opposed to the red. That's because I've washed this properly. So this is the last thing. You've washed all the top of the car and now I'm just going to do the wheels. Make sure you do the wheels last because otherwise you'll be putting all the dirt and the muck and everything over the body. Do not want that. These are the extra things you might need for cleaning your wheels. You can see on here, that's got the red markings from the cleaning the car before and a scrubbing brush to wash the tyres because the tyres will still probably have that browny coloured which is hard to get nice shiny black. Right, let's do the wheels. Plenty of water. Mm -hmm. 
again if you're really fussy this sounds like way too much but once a year I take the entire wheel off turn it over and then clean all of the inside it just means that when you're getting that beautiful chromey effect then the uh, it's more likely the light is going to reflect off the back part of it but at the moment it's quite hard to get into and you can only do little sections so maybe once a year or as often as you want take the whole wheel off wash both sides another random tip I bought this from uh, the auto store and it's a um, oh, I can't think of the word I'll write it down because I can't think of this this cloth is great for drying personally I think it's better than a chamois okay see that's quite wet put it on drag it across put it on drag it across and that's it pretty much done and there's no signs at this stage that I need to wring it out I call that the Superman cape because I throw it back on the cape land it on the glass and then pull it takes all the water off wipe the body and mirrors I'm now going to do the uh, tyres only on the four-wheel drive on this one here I'm not too worried about leaving it on there for a bit but I am leaving it on the back wheel so on the back wheel I think I'll just paint it on leave it for 10 minutes then give it a bit of a scrub and wash it off how much? I put in probably half a cup full of the CT18 and that much of water so it's fairly diluted but I think still strong enough spray it finish off that back wheel just doing the inside of the uh, mudguard which I didn't do much of a job on last time I'm also doing the springs and the shock absorbers you should have safety glasses on I mentioned if you're going to do the motor uh, have the motor running now I've already done the motor but I'll just give it a once over with CT18 see if it makes a difference I'm going to cheat a little bit because I want this one to look quite good but I don't think I'll get rid of the red writing Well, I hope you can see how little effort I put in that. I didn't like really give it a scrub. Looks like the white lettering might have turned out all right. Give it a rinse and we'll check it out. Now again, for those people who want to take it to the next level, oh. <laughs> Lacking the tyres. I waited for the, uh, after I washed the car, I waited for the tyres to dry. Yeah, looks pretty good. Like all parts of the cleaning of this, you can take it to the extreme. So I'm just going to take it to a slight extreme and I'll give the uh, bonnet a bit of a polish check that out <gasps> smells good even if it's not polishing it
And if you want to take it to the next level, good luck to you. I'm done. Still looks pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed clean up after Cape York and it was of some use to you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. I'd really appreciate it. And until then, this is Paul Drive signing off.